Well, you know, the impetus for Project Baseline is just, you know, being observing the decline in, in, in environmental quality in all of these places that I go and, and care about, you know. So for me personally, it was with the Springs. And I left Florida in 1994 to go to graduate school in Wyoming. I came back five years later, and it was like an atomic bomb had been dropped on the Springs. Even though, like, to me, it, it, that was instantaneous, and five years is really not that long of a time period, the most depressing thing was to listen to people that had just gotten to Florida and think that they're great. You know, so there's just this huge gulf in perception, you know, when I'm standing right next to somebody and I'm, you know, devastated and depressed and they're enthralled with the beauty. The one thing that we can provide the world that nobody else can is the picture, the view of what the underwater world looks like. In the end, the purpose is to reach out to people, you know, to engage the public, to engage the non-diving public. The best way to impassion that broader public is with pictures, you know. Diagrams of plots of data do not, you know, make the heart go pitter-patter. Three higher, the three tiers of the hierarchy that we have are project, site, station. Um, at the highest level, the project, in my mind, is, is whatever the team, and most specifically the project manager, is willing to commit to in terms of, uh, in terms of regularly visiting and, and documenting. You know, one person's project might, might be, you know, one small dive site, while somebody else's project might be, you know, a, a huge area. There's more value in a, a more frequent visitation and a commitment to, the, to a smaller number of sites or a smaller area than trying to do a really large area and not being able to, to get out there and see it very, and document it very well. And then as you move down from the project, we have the site hierarchical level. And the best way to think of the site is it's a dive site. You know, so it, it, it's a, if you, a dive site should be a place that you could theoretically visit on a dive. Straightforward examples of a site would be a particular cave. Wakulla Cave is a site. A wreck would be a site, yeah, a specific wreck, you know. So, um, and now that site ideally would then potentially include multiple stations. And the station is the stake in the sand that, I, that we like to say now. And that is, it has a very specific set of coordinates. From my perspective, I'd really like to see people put a stake in the sand, you know, or put somehow a monument in that place that allows people to know that they're coming back to exactly the same place. And even ideally, there would be some way to ensure that if you're gonna take a picture, that, you know, the camera would be placed in the exact same position every time. Now, after that station is, in, is developed, you know, I, I would like to think that that project baseline can be incorporated on your on, on just any dive. It's a very small component of a dive. We need to engage some level of rigor in, in terms of our work. And at the scientific level, you want reproducibility. From a scientific perspective, it's the organization and the reproducibility that is the hard part and the valuable part. So 
So if we're already out there, we've already established physical locations, we're already going back to those locations on a regular basis, number one, it becomes very easy for a scientist to say, oh, I'm really, uh, I really need data X, which is measured by you know, device Y, they can just put that device in our hands as opposed to the camera, and then we return the data that they need. The environment that you care about is worth protecting. If it's not worth it to go back to that place over and over again, we're gonna have a hard time. But if you're going back to that place over and over, all we're, all we're asking you to do is just to share what you see. And then you just have to accept that over time, what you see will become increasingly relevant. To me, the measure of success should be, you know, how long are you doing it? How many photographs are you taking? How many sites are you documenting? You know, how many, how much are you engaging the public with what you're, with what you're seeing? Even if it never makes a difference, at very least, you know, I, I think you could take some solace in the idea that you've tried and that you'll be, you personally will be able to go to the Project Baseline website and look at how your dive site has changed over time. And you know, you'll be able to share that with your friends and say, look, this is what's happened to my dive site over time. If you're going to be out there diving these locations over and over again anyway, why not participate in Project Baseline?